one, Stiebelman in the black briefs and Krause in the multicolored trunks. Krause moving forward, going for the body shot. Stiebelman chopping with that left kick. Krause, very strong position, totally flat footed. He's looking for power punch. There it is, rip rip. Originally, Krause was supposed to fight Andy Risty, but Risty had visa issues that couldn't make it into the country in time. So Warren Stiebelman, who was uh, further down the crowd, got bumped up. And I, I think it's a good uh, matchup for him because the way he fights, theoretically, he's such a hustler. He uh, could, could present problems for Krause, but Krause is on a hot streak right now. Having just won a three-man tournament in China, we knocked out every one of his opponents to win the Wu Lin Fang 70 kilogram tournament, and that was New Year's Eve. Uh, December 31st, 2012. Stiebelman gives you good mobility and ring position. He also keeps switching stand, trying to mix the game up a little bit. Uh, he's catching Kraus with an occasional low kick, but Kraus is really doing some good work with punching combinations. This is the sharpest I've seen Kraus in a while. He looks nice and tight. Hands are relaxed. Sometimes when you're a veteran of 90 fights, as Albert Kraus is, there comes a thing where you got to battle being flat. Well, that's one of the things that uh, Krause says has been bugging him so much. People are always asking him if his best days are behind him, if he's past it, if he's over it. He's right. accomplished so much. Good right hand by Kraus. Stiebelman swinging wild with that right hook. But Stiebelman is, is basically, seems to, oh, good oh, combination nice. by Shaka Zulu. Cross is walking him down. Yeah, he's walking him down, and he's in a very powerful stance. And less than one minute left, Cross did some good work to the body with that left hook. Good low kick yeah, by Cross. Cross with a short right hand over the top. Stevelman firing back. Stevelman's favorite combination: left, right. Body uppercut. See if we can get those four shots up. What the, and the Kraus switches again. His stance. Good right hook to the body with a right uppercut. Classic Mike Tyson. Yeah, those punches are getting through. Good counter there by Stevenson to the leg. Stephen lands a good left hand to Kraus. The Kraus comes back, blasting with a kick punch combination. Stiegelman ending the round with a good straight left. Seems like Kraus is the sharper though. I think Kraus took that round, mainly because he was walking forward, his shots were a little crisper, he was hitting high and low. Yeah. I think Stiegelman might have won the kicking game, but it didn't seem like a lot of damage was done behind that. Stiegelman had some, a lot of backward motion, which doesn't look good because the aggressive fight is usually gets the points. Yeah, and here's Stiegelman teeing off and landing a great straight left to the body. We see Albert Krause is marching him down, coming right back, lift, uh, reaching that jab out there. Stiebelman, nice combo. There's that shot to the body again. It's beautiful handwork. The Krause is marching him down. Look at that hook to the body, uppercut. And then he waits for him to come back out. Albert Krause, it seems like he's in total control of this game. One of the judges had it at 10 10 round, and the other judges had it for. Albert Kraus, so four to one for Albert Kraus, taking round number one. And here we get set for round number two. And it's on. They touch gloves, Stiebelman in the blue gloves, and Kraus in the red gloves. Stiebelman comes in with a nice right hook, but Kraus fires back. Krause is so solid. He's just staying right in stand. Oh, he took a shot right there. Yes, he did. I think, if anything, Krause is susceptible to Stiebelman's left hand. Krause coming over the top with an overhand right. Wow. Stephen coming back with a one, two, three low kick combination. Nice flow of work right there. It 
it seems to be a question of power, Frank. Yeah. Because Strauss just marches forward and will take Stevens' shots thus far. Hasn't been wobbled. and walk right through them and do it with the heavier shots. Get Stevens walking back. Yeah, and you see when they get in those exchanges, Stevens goes backwards for the most part. Unless he's throwing combos, he got hit right there on the counter. Big. Oh, oh, oh he left hook. Albert Krauss coming forward, landing bombs. Going to the body. This is the sweet science, Frank Shamrock. Yes, it is, and it's beautiful. Krauss uppercut. Hook. Krauss in complete control. Evelman comes back. There we go. Just screw the slip. Krauss has got Stevenson's number right now. Stevenson's still in the fight, firing back. But Krauss is not affected at all. But Stevenson is affected by Albert Krauss's offense. Look at that left hook to the body. Frank, doing Frank, great right. work to the body. He's not going to be able to take that because eventually Krauss is going to load up on that punch. Yep. Look at this. Body shots. A glory thing. Boom! He's taking his time. He's, he's pumping. He's reaching around the backside. He's quick popping the liver and moving on. Very methodical work by Albert Krauss. The mouthpiece goes out for Stevelman's. That was courtesy of Krauss. A little short right hand right on the button. <laughs> Stevelman just can't stop the forward punching motion of Albert Krauss right now. Or he can't defend the body shots. I think it's the body shots that are starting to rip him up real bad. Stevelman. I want to think about throwing a knee up the center every time Albert Cross is down for a body shot like that. He doesn't have to clinch, just throw the knee. There's a knee. When Stevie was on his bicycle and he was kicking and moving, he was doing well. Oh, Krauss with a man, umpteen punch combination there. Krauss not even loading up, just landing punches. Reaching in, ripping the guts of Stevelman, following up with combinations. Some of these are blocked, but half of them are getting through. And the big ones are hitting the body and the chin, like those four punches that just got through. Albert Krauss putting on a boxing clinic, totally controlling the position and the game, constantly reaching over and ripping the guts out of Warren Stevelman. Those are the kind of shots that seize your whole body up, take all your energy away. Seconds out. Seconds shoe shine in this guts right here. I'm just going to say, now, shoe shine in the 10-9 round across the board. Every judge agreed. Albert Krauss got two in the bank. Or Steven is going to need at least a 10-8 round to make this into a draw and go to a fourth round. Otherwise, he's going to lose this fight. Check out. Last round. The last round was not competitive. Last round was a, a situation where Krauss didn't do so much damage it was a 10-8 round, didn't put Stevelman's down, but Stevelman landing a good left hand there. Warren, ah. Warren's starting to load up, and that's what he's got to do. But honestly, I think Krauss should load up too, because if he's landing punches on the button to Stevelman's, why not load up and try to knock him out? Maybe he has a lot of respect for Stevelman's chin. Because uh, Stevenson has only been stopped twice in his whole career, once by TKO and once by KO. I'd like to thank our uh, technical information specialist, John O'Regan, for our elaborate notes. That guy rocks. He really does. Oh, nice prep kick by Albert Krause. Good low kick. Getting into the problematic area there known as the groin. Krauss just pushing him in the corner. And Stevenson trying to come up the middle with his own uppercut. There's another low kick, meaning a groin kick, but didn't stop the action. Krauss pounding away. Uh, you know, Krauss is just using this like a speed bag workout. Yep. It's like he's, he's working a speed bag. Short, tight, clean punches. Stevenson's got to give him reason to be threatened. Or go back to that push kick or something. Yeah. 
kick it around, but it's not stopping the forward move to Albert Kraus. Yeah, he's going for that uh, back leg of Kraus. And now Kraus throws the kick. Well, Steve would be good to go up high. He needs to get a knockdown or a knockout here. Kraus is marching forward, tearing the guts. Out of Stiebelman. And one minute left. Stiebelman needs a miracle here to win this fight. A knockout would do the trick. Easier said than done when you're facing a legend like Albert Hurricane Kraus. 45 seconds. Stiebelman tries his best, but just comes up short as he just cannot block the punches. Of Albert Krauss. And even when they go punch for punch or combination for combination, Krauss is just so outgunning him. But Krauss hasn't really rocked him yet. No, nope. he hasn't hurt him. Stephen's got a chin. He's got an iron chin. Big time. But he's starting to get wobbly here. Part of it's fatigue and then part of it's body he's just been beat the heck. There's that right hook. He switched to southpaw, getting work in, and then goes back to orthodox. Winding down to the wire. The end of round three is coming up. It's been all Albert Kraus. Warren Stiebelman has only done as much as to hang in there and stay on his feet. There's the respect. A one-sided fight for the man in the multicolored trunks and the red gloves, Albert Kraus. Warren Stiebelman. Came in here to try to break that moniker, the elite journeyman status. He wanted to be up in the top echelon. And Albert Krauss took him to the bank with punches. Clean boxing, being aggressive, staying in front of him, mixing it up, punch, kick, knee. And when he let him go on the inside, it was short punches, lots of punches, inside, outside, landing at least half of them, as well as staying confident and in position. Warren Stiegelman is just slowly getting tired, beat down, really didn't have a solution for the power of Albert Krause. And here you can see him just losing the punching battle. Krause going under that shot, hitting him twice in the body, coming up with an uppercut. All Albert Krause here. Looks like he's hitting the speed bag. Warren Stiegelman just had the fight taken out of him. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. Our panel of five judges have a total point score of 150 to 136 in favor of the winner in the red corner, Albert.